Does it seem like in 2024, it's somewhat acceptable to be racist towards Chinese athletes? Or is the internet overreacting? Let's run the clip from the US Open. Jung Chen Wen has truly been enraged this time. In the intense fourth round of the women's singles at the 2024 US Open, Jung Chen Wen stepped onto the court with confidence. She was met not only with cheers from the crowd, but also with sudden racist remarks. During the match, someone in the stands shouted, yellow banana, and Jung Chen Wen responded with a powerful comeback. Later, another fan deliberately interfered with Jung Chin Wen's serve. In this situation, she chose neither to retreat nor remain silent. Instead, she demonstrated what a true champion is through her determined gaze and actions on the court. Facing the tenacious resistance of Croatian player Vekic, Jung Chin Wen quickly adjusted her game after losing the first set. With impressive serving and baseline attacks, she won the second set and the decisive third set, ultimately securing a 2-1 victory and advancing to the quarterfinals. <laughs> Boom, there you have it. I mean, you could see it all play out and that's why it went viral because Zheng Qing one's like, I'll beat you to somebody who's like standing up and down while she's trying to serve, saying yellow banana yellow. I guess he got two warnings from the referee. It's unclear if he left in the middle of the match or not. So a lot of people are like, Wait, if this guy was even Asian himself, why would he call her a banana? Because she's from China, she's not a banana. It's not like she's a whitewashed Asian. There's yellow on the outside, white on the inside. However, let me provide you some more context. In 2021, there was a Chinese pro te uh, table tennis player who got heckled in Houston by a white guy using this exact same phrasing. Let me run that clip. So it appears that yellow banana yellow seems potentially in the first incident in Houston, potentially anti-Asian, right? But in the second incident, because this guy appears to either be some type of Asian himself, it's unclear whether he's like Korean or HK or whatever he is. Um, but it's like, it could be more like less overall against Asians and maybe directly against mainland Chinese. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, a lot of geopolitical beef right now between countries. So it would make sense. Anyway, I'm going to try to analyze it. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Small Last Sauce at smalllastsauce.com. Point number one, guys. Racism against Asians in general in America has always been treated more lightly, right? Like maybe people felt like we haven't struggled enough or that we're too, um, on the economic macro aggregate statistics, we're too up, right? Uh, or do we, we're just not part of America to be cared about like that. However, I do believe in 2024, there's an additional layer against anything that is related to mainland China because, and, and a lot of people feel like they can more justify that because the U.S. is uh, in a cold war, essentially, with mainland China. It's a very complex situation. Uh, if you do a lot of business and trade, you, you look at more of it as a frenemy situation. But I think your average person who is not involved in global trade is viewing it almost more like a narrative enemy, even though it seems like almost uh, the possibilities of a hot war with like Russia seem more possible than a hot war with China. It's already like the cold war is stronger with China because Russia is not really a threat to usurp, I guess, the U.S. position at as the 1A at the top of the world hierarchy, right? So anyway, uh, I got to talk about this because yellow banana sounds like a schoolyard taunt, or it seems like just something that like doesn't really make that much sense, you know, but it is related to geopolitics. Let me just get into the, some of the comments. They said, uh, why was the person allowed to continue to watch? Honestly, pro I think in the future, after this incident became so viral, anybody who yells at a Asian or a Chinese athlete, yellow, anything, whether they're Asian or not, should get removed. Somebody said the U.S. is a free country to express racism. Somebody said racism against Asians only is allowed. Somebody said because it's openly OK to hate on Chinese people in America because the CCP is bad. And then somebody said this is 100 percent it. I can't read this whole comment, but basically it's saying, you know, we've heard from our politicians for over a decade how China is the real enemy and how evil their government is and responsible for all of our problems, both internal and external, et cetera, et cetera. This guy says just because we dislike the Chinese government doesn't mean we should disrespect the Chinese athlete. Shame on those who booed her. And then somebody said Chinese are the new Middle Eastern which were the new Russians. Obviously, they're referring to how Russia was viewed during the Cold War. I mean, you know, the weird thing is, I would say I, I get this analogy. I think the details are different. But yeah, there's definitely if you're going to go after one group in American public media right now, it is mainland Chinese people. It's open game on them. Nobody is going to call you that racist. 
apparently. And, you know, like I said, admittedly, there are geopolitical factors fueling this sort of um, acceptance of like blatant racism or negative things. But I don't know. It just is what it is right now. Point number two, people really relate to how uh, she responded through her determination and her grit because she was down in that tennis match and she ended up winning uh, the fighting spirit in her eyes. And I think that that's what's actually going really viral on the Chinese internet. Because I think on the Chinese internet, they're like always looking at it like, man, we get talked down to so much. Um, you know, everybody doesn't like China's rise and stuff like that. And it's just kind of like her attitude and how she approached it. But you can also look at, I, I'm, I don't want to say it's like the whole world against China thing. I think there is that element to it. But then there's also other Asians that could be against the Chinese government that still would like just an Asian standing up to like, getting hated on because you know it just feels like it's something that happens to us a lot in this in the west like we don't really do anything you know we don't really commit any crimes or really do anything bad but just for some reason people just think we're like whack or not that cool or just treat us with way less respect than we theoretically should get uh and you know of course there's a million reasons why other people would try to explain that away but anybody would like get what i'm trying to say right it's an underdog mentality uh, an underdog positioning in this whole like game theory or, you know, gamesmanship. Point number three, morality has aesthetic considerations. Nietzsche said it. If you kill a cockroach, you are a hero. If you kill a butterfly, you are bad. Morality has aesthetic standards. And uh, this is just, I mean, I just kind of moved this one up on the list just to get out of the geopolitics of it. But like Zheng Ching one herself is good looking. You know what I mean? So it's like, I think that that's even fueling people coming to her, to, to her defense too. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like an aside. I don't want to get sidetracked here. Point number four, Asians are somewhat new to taking over white spaces, right? So somebody said, I love this. Some people cannot stand. They are no longer the best at some sports. Obviously this was under the speculation that all these racial hecklers were white, which obviously in this recent US Open case, he was not. He was also another type of Asian. And uh, yeah, I just think that Asians are, um, we're coming up in the world right now. And we're not just coming up in spaces that people think we would come up in, which is like engineering, gadgets, computers, microchips, uh, math, being a professor or something like that. I think we're coming up in fields that people are like, oh yeah, you guys are, uh, you guys are getting good at that too, huh? And then, you know, different people that are used to being the native dominant forces in these spaces, they're going to have different reactions. Some people are going to be super open-minded to it. Some people are going to be 50-50 on it. And just like anything, there's a there's a variance. Some people are going to be like uh, bitter or salty about it, right? About a newcomer. And uh, point number five, racism can come from other Asians. Now, I don't know, maybe you could call this geopolitical beef. Maybe it's not racism or maybe it is racism. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, I read some reports saying that this guy wearing the sweet green shirt was Korean. I do not know. It could, you know what I mean? Somebody was like, uh, this is a comment from the internet. Somebody said, so this is an Asian person being racist against another Asian person. This is getting ridiculous. And somebody said, it's like a black person calling another black person Oreo. If you don't understand why that is offensive, look it up. God forbid there might be some nuance to this situation. So I just think right now it's like, geopolitical and it's just like like i said it goes kind of back to point number one it's like mainland china was so bad and so poor for so long and it's like it definitely supported a lot of uh i don't know like at least in the western view for sure like the wrong side of the wars whether that it's in the korean war and things like that and i just think that there's a lot of beef in asia right now because China's beginning to exert its power in the region and start to take up more and more space. And understandably, you know, if you are from somewhere else, you know, you're just not happy about it. Let's just say this guy is Korean, for example. Korean people, they tend to wear their heart on their sleeve. I think they're also geopolitically hyper aligned with the US. So this guy could have been from Korea. Who knows? You know what I mean? Maybe he's very nationalistic and he views the South Korea's fortune being obviously very tied in with the U.S. And if the U.S. is against China, he's against Jung Ching one, you know? And it's like, I have so many, like, I have such good friends uh, that were Korean, even from Korea. I went to their uh, Seoul just to go to their wedding, you know, from college and stuff like that. This is not me saying anything personally. I'm just literally stating just like what's true or like what's generally true. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I hope it doesn't really uh, create 
you know, more things. It's just interesting to see, you know, that this situation that got blown up in the media, because of course nobody knew who did it initially. Everybody thought it was a white person. So then all these articles were coming out and it comes out, it's another type of Asian. Like we said, it could have been HK. It could have been Taiwanese. You could feel like that's um, their grievances are real, but then that's inappropriate to do that to Zheng Qing, one who's just an athlete, right? Or you could say, yeah, sure. You could vocal. Maybe this guy couldn't contain himself and, yeah, I don't know. His, his face just clearly looks very angry at the situation. You know, he like he looks like mad as fuck. But it's like, um, I guess what I'm saying is, ultimately, my major takeaway on this is that, uh, yeah, geopolitics, it comes to affect everybody. Like we said, I mean, Zheng Qing won, won the gold medal for China in the Olympics. And this is uh, just, it's going to happen more and more. I'm not trying to hate this guy. Obviously, that was really poor form of him to do that. And that's a really disrespectful way to express your political opinions. And it shouldn't happen. That guy should get banned forever. But uh, it also wouldn't shock me if this was, uh, if it happened more and more in the future. Let me know what you guys think about the Zheng Qing one incident in the comment section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace.